Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Simple Machines plugin. So this is a fantastic plugin which allows you to create these awesome machines here, which produce a variety of different items, and you can even design your own. So we're going to look at all of these. We're going to create our own, and then look at the config file and see how we can change everything up. So let's go ahead and look at this one. It's the gold machine. So if we open up the manual, which you get with each of these machines, you will see how much it costs in order to create it, the production, so what it produces and how long it takes, and then the fuel it requires to produce the gold. So if we look here, we have our chest at the top. This has all of our fuel. And once that gets burnt up, at the bottom we will have our production, which is the gold, and as you can see it's made quite a lot so this machine would be very good to, to make. The next one is slightly different this is the macerator it has three chests instead of two and in the left one we have all of the fuel the right one we have lots of different ore and the bottom one we have the ingot so this is pretty much like a giant furnace and if we look here it costs quite a lot to make uh, it produces all of these different ingots and diamonds and whatnot and these are the fuel it uses. So the next one is my favorite, it's the blaze one. Blaze rods are very, very difficult to come by, but if you produce this machine, it will allow you to get blaze rods every 600 ticks as long as you use the fuel. And as you can see, the top is still fuel and the bottom produces blaze rods. Finally, we have a similar one, this is the skeleton one, and in the top fuel again, and in the bottom, this produces bones and arrows, which is very, very cool. So uh, let's have a look at this, it's pretty cheap to make, and as you can see every 50 ticks it produces one bone and one arrow. So those are the four machines you get by default. We are going to go ahead and purchase another one and show you how to create it. So what we need to do is forward slash machines and that will give us two commands. So we can list all of the different machines. These are the four default ones as I mentioned and we are going to buy the gold machine. Now it's very, very expensive, it's $4,000, and we are going to hit enter, hopefully we have enough, and we do. And what we need is obviously the manual, we need a block of iron to build it on, so let's pop that over here, and we need all of the different materials. So if we open up the manual, these are the items that we need in order to buy it. So if we don't have those, we will get an error message. So for example, if I get rid of all the, these diamonds and try and left click it, it will say you do not have enough materials. So let's go ahead and grab those diamonds back and left click again. And as you can see, it automatically builds your machine within a few seconds, uh, which is very, very useful. And then we can start using it. So once you've done that, all you need to do is grab any of these fuels and then you will start getting the produce. So let's go ahead and stick some fuel in there. And then 400 ticks later, you will get some gold. And that's pretty much how it works in game. So we are going to look at the config files now and show you how you can change everything and create your own machines. So here we are in the simple machines folder and as you can see there are three files. So the simple machines database, you don't need to touch that, it just stores various data. At the top we have the book which stores how the book looks as I showed you in game, you don't need to mess around with that either. But the one you do want to touch is the config.yml. Now in here we have the option to set up an SQL database if you'd like or you can just go down to the machines and start changing how they work. So up at the top we have the gold machine and there are two types of machines. There is the fuel machine, which you saw, and the ingredient machine such as the macerator. So once you've chosen your type, you can change how much they cost. So they are very, very expensive. Uh, you can make them very cheap or very expensive depending on how easy you want your server to be. And then you can change the design. So as you remember, it was made out of gold and obsidian, but you can obviously change this to maybe grass or quartz or whatever block you want to make it look nice. And then the items that are required to build it. So as you saw, I needed all of these. When I didn't have the diamond, I got the error message. Then we have the item it produces and how long it takes for it to make it. So this is 400 ticks. Then we have the fuel, how long it takes to burn, so 800 ticks, the speed, as you can see, if you use coal blocks instead, it will go at a faster rate and it will take longer for it to burn out. And as you can see, wood is not very good um, compared to coal and coal block. And then down here, we obviously have the other ones. Um, 
So if you want to create your own, it's very straightforward. I would recommend simply copying and pasting one of the existing ones. Go down here and just paste it in. Uh, simply change the name to, I don't know, test, and then you can go ahead and change all of these values and make it your own brand new machine. So that is how you edit things in the config file. It's very, very easy, uh, very straightforward, and this plugin is awesome. It's free to download. The link will be in the description below. If you need a server to run it on, check out serverminer.com. And if you need more plugins, check out the playlist we have or check out my channel down below. But that's it for me for this week. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.